Kazakhstan's Ministry of Internal Affairs has launched a pre-trial investigation into the crash of an aircraft in Almaty. An investigative operational group has been formed. Rescue operations continue at the scene, with nearly 1,000 rescuers, 72 equipment and 33 ambulance crews. An operational headquarter has been formed while a hotline has been created. Deputy Prime Minister of Kazakhstan, Roman Skliar, said that the flight data recorder was found and will be analysed by specialists from the Interstate Aviation Committee. He also said that based on preliminary investigations, the cause of the crash could be due to pilot error or technical malfunction of the aircraft. No one will be left without state support. All the families of the dead and injured will be provided with the necessary assistance and support. The government commission has started to work at the emergency scene. According to the latest information from the Ministry of Internal Affairs, 12 people on board died, 49 injured, while 18 are in serious conditions due to the plane crash in Almaty. Based on updated reports, the aircraft was carrying a total of 93 passengers and five crew members. President Qasim Jomart Tokayev has declared December 28 as a day of national mourning for the loss of lives due to the tragedy. The first president of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, has expressed his condolences over the crash of the passenger plane. I heard the news about victims and injured people with deep sorrow. Sharing the pain of loss, I express my condolences to families and friends of the victims, and I wish all the injured people to recover as soon as possible, he said based on a telegram report. President of Kazakhstan, Qasim Jomart Tokayev, has also expressed his deep condolences to families of the victims. He gave instructions to provide the assistance to the injured and announced the formation of a special government commission led by Kazakh Prime Minister Askar Mamin. The head of state has also instructed to bring the guilty people to the justice in compliance with the law. be buried under snow. According to reports, two tourists are injured and they have been taken to the hospital. Meanwhile, over the last 24 hours, three climbers have been found dead by rescuers in the area of Grand Sasso Mountain in the Abruzzo region in Italy. Two of the climbers fell off while ascending. Another woman died in the avalanche. Nearly 250 homes were destroyed while 700 people were left homeless due to a fire in of the country, the fires might have been ignited intentionally. The fire broke out in a forest near the outskirts of Valparaiso City, which is one of the popular tourist destinations. Currently, there is no information on victims or any injuries. The fire burned nearly 132 hectares of forest land. The flame was localized after a few hours. More than 100,000 civilians were killed and injured during terrorist more than 100,000 civilians were killed and injured during terrorist attacks over the last 10 years in Afghanistan. The data was reported by United Nations Secretary General's Special Representative for Afghanistan, Tadamichi Yamamoto. He called upon all the interested parties to seek ways to reduce the levels of violence and to find ways to immediately restore peace in Afghanistan. Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan plan to increase mutual trade value to 1 billion US dollars. The trade value between the countries amounted to 850 million US dollars in 2018. This year, bilateral economic relations have strengthened due to joint projects as well as import and export of agricultural products. Moreover, the relations have also strengthened as part of the Eurasian Economic Union. Kazakhstan mainly exports metal products, construction materials, chemical components, fuel and food products to Kyrgyzstan. Meanwhile, Kazakhstan imports mineral substances such as sulfur, limestone and stone rocks from the neighboring country. Kazakhstan imported products worth more than 60 million US dollars in the beginning of 2019. We have a deep economic interaction involving our businesses with each other. Due to the facilities of the EAEU and the integrated information system, we create opportunities for our customs authorities and state bodies who control and provide the movement of goods across our borders to make our business efficient. Business. 
Kazakhstan has become the second country after Russia to develop active foreign trade relations with Kyrgyzstan this year as part of the EAEU. 32% of the latter's trade volume accounts for Kazakhstan. The country also ranked first in terms of export, which is recorded at almost 44%. Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan plan to reconstruct two largest customs checkpoints on the border to increase the trade activities. Documentolog Electronic Document Management System and the Melos Communication Agency have signed an agreement. The agreement, which was signed in the Doculite Cloud System, allows the two parties to exchange legally relevant electronic documents, regardless of wherever they physically are. The Russian party said that the Documentolog solutions provide fast and smooth transfer to a paperless system. The main advantage of the Documentolog for us is the seamless integration, which we consider as the most prioritized system. No additional training is required for our employees on how to use this system, because it is easily understandable and simple. The system has an easy design and it can operate during the same day that it is installed, when all the basic settings are set. Meanwhile, Konov Media Agency is also transitioning to the Electronic Document Management System. The agency has chosen Documentalog out of all the tested programs. In public relations, it is very important to provide feedback very fast to a client. If the client submitted the form today, we have to provide response by tomorrow. We managed to do this in just a few hours using the Documentalog system. It helps to reduce the workload by 15% to 20%. Documentalog company takes the leading position in the Kazakhstan market. The company is also the first to implement the electronic document exchange system for state bodies. <music> Nearly 40 dispatches of the Kazakhstan Electricity Grips Eve. The load on electric networks increases as residents in Kazakhstan consume electricity more on December 31st. On the new year, the dispatches will monitor the flow of electricity throughout the country. The dispatcher is always here, all day and night. His or her job is to provide rest to others. The dispatcher is always ready to solve the problems, even without management. He or she has to work continuously to provide electricity for trains, planes, as well as factories. The dispatcher's work is comparable to the state-level job. This is the center of the entire power system in Kazakhstan. Thousands of kilometers of electricity lines are displayed on a digital board with a size of 12 and 4 meters. The board gives information about how much electricity is generated by power plants and how much electricity is consumed in Kazakhstan. It is more of a stressful mode, which requires more coordination and tension. The Kigok company has modernized and upgraded the power plants to provide everyone with electricity and smooth flow of energy during the New Year's Eve. In normal mode, the dispatches work around the clock, all 365 days a year. There are another nine regional branches operating in Kazakhstan. Senior students and graduates of Kazakh vocational education institutions and universities majoring in technical specializations are undertaking internships in large enterprises in the country. Ten of them are doing a paid internship at the Aktobe Rail and Beam Plant as part of the Kerek Adam Social and Educational Project. Having a solid work experience related to your field of study is very important. This is a good opportunity to learn, to see by yourself how everything operates, to apply your knowledge into practice. The Kerek Adam Social and Educational Project has been launched by the Development Bank of Kazakhstan in cooperation with Thai Buril Public Association to maintain the interest of young people in technical specialties and show their potential to the possible employers. The bank has been implementing the largest industrial projects, so the development of the engineering and technical potential is an important contribution in this direction. This is an integral and important step as part of the corporate social responsibility as well.
14 students of nuclear physics, space engineering and technology, automation and control, as well as petroleum engineering, have completed their paid internships at the Kazakh leading enterprises. The best interns of the Aktyobe rail and beam plant will be able to have permanent jobs at the enterprise after completing their internships. The Bakitpe Otbasi program, instructed by the first president of Kazakhstan, has become the most favorite product offered by the bank. Over the last five months, more than 4,000 families have celebrated their housewarmings in Kazakhstan, while another 740 families are in the process of choosing their own house. <laughs> Five thousand of our home buyers who have submitted their applications from July until August are low income, single parent or large families. We've completely redesigned our business processes in order to offer the opportunity for our clients to choose a house that suits them best in the property market. According to Lezat Ibragimova, the Housing Construction Savings Bank has developed a unique service ecosystem. However, the main focus of the bank is customer service. We are the first bank in the country that has cancelled the acceptance and withdrawal of title and collateral documents. Recently, we have stopped requesting for these documents. It was problematic in terms of typical details when a home buyer needed to legalize or add changes into the document. 1.5 million people in Kazakhstan have put aside their savings for future apartments and houses in the Housing Construction Savings Bank. The home buyers are entitled to the 20% bonus given by the state for a limit of savings not more than 505,000 tinge. The Pavloda branch of the Housing Construction Savings Bank of Kazakhstan celebrates its 15th anniversary. The bank has assisted more than 10,000 residents in Pavlodar to purchase their own houses. Depositors of the financial institution receive state bonus every year. The maximum bonus is 101,000 tinge. We are very happy. The contribution of the bonus is very good. The Housing Construction Savings Bank actively takes part in the development of the new Saryarka micro-district. 396 people have received keys to their new apartments. Recently, children's savings accounts have become popular. The Housing Construction Savings Bank provides good services in the market. I plan to open a deposit account for my children in the future. The Housing Construction Savings Bank provides profitable interest rates and festive mood to deposit account holders. At the Gilles Troy Ice Party, the bank employees spoke about life hacks on loan products and gave pleasant New Year surprises. The individual housing construction will be implemented in the area of the air town in the beginning of next year. Therefore, I invite all residents of Pavlodar who are waiting to purchase their apartments to contact the Land Relations Department, schedule an appointment and come to us. The Housing Construction Savings Bank will also begin settling home buyers in the Dostik Micro District in the future. Scientist Arman Nurmohan Bietov wrote a book, Kasiet, which provides an insight into the spiritual world of the Great Steppe, as well as information about origins of traditions, cultural values of nomadic civilizations, and ancient cults of the Turkic people. The book is based on a series of published research that the scientists conducted. The influence of Tengrism has resulted in the knowledge of erecting monuments, naming children with the names of ancestors, as well as the worship of holy sky, animals, trees, and mountains. Tengrism continues to be an educational topic of rich cultural heritage of mankind. Tengrism has been preserved in traditions and in the lifestyle of nomads' descendants. First of all, nomads recognized the laws of heaven and nature. The nomads considered themselves as part of this nature, so most of the traditions have survived to this day. The ancient customs of ancestors have been preserved well in the nomadic communities of Kazakh, Kyrgyz, Bashkirs and Turkmens. Uh, Kazakh, 